The only problem was that they didn't pick the points as they could have done because there was lots of last minute disappointments, lots of draws. Otherwise, uh, Fortuna Düsseldorf, they could have really spared themselves today with that high pressure game because they could be safe by now. Here from Tommy. Lovely cut back as well, and this is Hennings. Lays it back for the shot that whistles past there from Ken and Karaman. That was the first good move of the game, and it came from Fortuna Dusseldorf. Yeah, look at the engine again here. Tommy just through the middle through three people, actually cuts it nicely back to Hennings, but he can't do much with that ball because he's just a back to the goal here. The layoff is quite good, but the contact of Karaman is not clear. We see it here. He actually, yeah, just kind of like shoves the ball. Uh, yeah, not really look dangerous, could have been more. With the stand the full first. with chanting supporters, who's going to be shouting here? Oh, that is dangerous, and it goes over the line! It's a goal! Union Berlin somehow get the ball over the line. I'm not quite sure whether Christian Gettner might have got the last touch there. Twenty-six minutes in. And Unio Berlin are leading 1-0, Lutz. Yeah, not clean defended here. Yeah, that's in. Antony Uja. His third goal of the campaign. Well, it might not have been a pretty goal, but it is exactly the wrong thing that Fortuna Dusseldorf wanted today. Kastenmeier beaten 25, 26 minutes in, and they are trailing at the moment by one goal to nil. Werder Bremen are leading by one goal to nil against Köln, and that, dear Lutz, would not be good for Dusseldorf. The first 45 is over, both in Bremen, where they are leading at the moment by three goals to nil against Köln. And another shot here, there was a touch there too from Kastenmeier. After, would you believe it, Grisha Prömel gets a shot away. That's not something uh, he does very often. No, Stöger here is a very difficult, a very dangerous way to lose the ball in that region. You can't go into the dribble there. And Prömel does what he's doing best. He's a ball winner, he's a fighter. Luckily, Kostmeier has a good... Ucha. Oh, this is getting there. Oh, this is a goal and it's 2-0! And the man who has never beaten Fortuna Dusseldorf in five attempts has just put his team 2-0 up. FC Berlin, FC Union Berlin 2, Dusseldorf 0. And that is going to be one heck of a headache here for Uwe Rösler. Yeah, you see it on the body language. No danger here. And Ayan closes the eyes. The ball falls quite good. And then the finish is, of course, of such an experienced player here. Bad defending here by Kanayan, and he just with the inside of the foot. He actually looks at the goalkeeper. Where does he make his first step? Places it. But that's again, it's so easy to defend. It's just a long ball by the goalkeeper. That lack of concentration. And then look, it's nearly in the middle. Kostmeyer speculates here. Down a little too long, possibly. And here they come. Geraldo Becker's pass. Oh, look at this, and it's got to be, and it is! The final nail in the coffin! It's 3-0 in the last minute of the game. And Geraldo Becker is the man who scores for Union Berlin. And that's it for coach Uwe Rösler. Game over. Well, it appeared to be such an easy tap-in, actually coming through the legs of Kastenmeier there. But, uh, well, there was no way of stopping them. They just had too much room there, of course. For the best soccer content anywhere on the internet, follow Fox Soccer on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube.